Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a 3D room design. What you're going to need for this, you're going to need some paper, you're going to need a pencil, something to write with, some something to color with, a pair of scissors. If you have a glue stick, that would be fantastic. If you don't, tape will work. And I'm going to use a Sharpie so you can see what I'm doing. All right, now... First, you're going to take your paper. Now, mine is a rectangle. You may or may not be able to tell that from this, but mine is a rectangle sheet of white paper. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the edge of the paper and I'm going to fold it completely over where it lines up with this side of the paper. And I'm going to make a crease. Now, when you look at it, Ooh, not exactly, but okay. Now, when you look at this, do you see the extra that you have left over? You need to trim that off. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut that off. Now, what I'm going to end up with is I'm going to end up with a square. If I open this up, it is a square. Now, what I'm going to do is I need to fold it in half like this. It's a square. Okay. Then I need to fold it again like this. Okay. So I folded it into fourths and I made sure I had a crease. Now I'm going to open it up. And I'm going to look for the line that goes this way and the line that goes this way. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm only going to cut. I'm about to cut. I'm going to only cut one line from here to the center. You do not need to trace this line. I just want you to be clear where I'm cutting. Okay, so I'm going to cut straight up that line. And that's all I need to cut. That's it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to let that side stand up. And I'm going to let this side lap over that side. Like that. Now, don't glue it or tape it yet. Just look at it. Okay. I have a 3D room now. I have a wall. I have a wall. And I have the floor down here. Okay. Before I glue it together, because it's going to be really hard for me to color if it's standing up like this. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it up. Now, I'm going to make my floor be checkerboard. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this pen again. And you do not have to make your floor checkerboard. Your, your floor could be anything. Actually, I changed my mind. I'm going to make this floor be a wood floor. So, I'm going to make lines for the lines on the floor. And I'm going to give myself some pattern wood grain texture in my wood. Maybe some lines. Okay, and I would go back and I would maybe color this brown. Okay, so I've got a wood floor. So now, when I fold it, do you see how I have a wood floor? Now, I'm going to give myself over here, I'm going to give myself a window. And let's see, this is going to be a wall, so maybe I'll have a picture over here with someone's face on it and I could get very detailed with this I could draw furniture I could draw all kinds of things let's see I'm gonna try to put another window over here I'm gonna see if this lines up the way I want it to here's some trim around the window 
Okay, now, after I get this all colored, which I'm not going to make you watch me do, I'm going to use my glue. My glue's old, so I hope it holds. Okay, I'm going to glue it together. Now, this, and I'm actually going to recrease the edges so that it stands up a little better. Okay, so here's my 3D room. Now, I could use more paper. Maybe I use the scrap that I cut off to begin with. I could actually make my own little furniture if I wanted to. Or I could get out my toys and perhaps I have a sink and a stove and a refrigerator and I could use different toys and I could actually play with my creation. Like I said, if I was really dedicated, I could make all of this stuff by myself out of paper. I could make chairs and then I could use my figures and play with it. Also, if you're into stop motion, making stop motion videos, this is a great way to make yourself backdrops and then use your your figures to create stop motion videos. So, I hope that you enjoyed this and that yours will end up with a lot more color and decoration than mine did. But, have a great day.